Hey guys, Youngblood with you, and if you're wondering what that really hellish sound was, that was the EMP coming off of the Saber Raven. Now, with this ship, basically what you're getting is a Saber. That being said, it has a uh, different build to it, so you're noticing there's no retractable wings, it's a kind of a unified body ship. Uh, you have one main thruster at the back instead of two, which is an interesting difference on it, um, but does make some flight changes to how it actually handles. Um, outside of that, you uh, don't have four weapons on this uh, Raven. You've got two weapons. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and give you an overhead view of this ship as I climb into the cockpit. So let's go ahead and get in. And you're going to notice that it's very Delta-like, almost Aurora-like, if you're familiar with kind of the lore around um, UFOs. It does have some interesting cutouts in the middle, which I assume is for mass reduction or maybe signature reduction or something like that. But it's interesting. It's got a big old 36 on the side, which I don't really care for. Um, headlights are really strong, but the overall design of the ship is cool. It's kind of reminiscent of the Eagle uh, from Elite Dangerous. So basically what you're getting is a ship that has EMP capability um, you know, through the uh, missile mounts on the bottom. And then it has two uh, decent weapons on the sides, and that's about it. So as far as the way the ship actually flies, the main difference between this and a standard Sabre is going to be the fact that it has one thruster. So you're going to notice it doesn't accelerate as fast, which you would probably expect. Um, however, the things that make it really interesting are what's on the stats page, and that's in really focus to the um, fact that it's got a medium quantum uh, tank. Now, the way it flies, um, it's lighter weight, so it ends up tending to kind of bank a little bit faster than the normal Sabre does. Um, it doesn't necessarily respond or recover as quickly, which I think is kind of interesting, and that may be res um, in, in regards to the wings. You know, a normal Sabre has the wings that pop out, so if we're talking about atmosphere and effect of actually having wings, I think that may be something to do with it, but regardless of the way that that all works out... Um, my general flight impressions of the ship is it handles well. It's very responsive. It feels pretty similar to the stock uh, Sabre, but it's not necessarily the same experience. You know, for me, when I'm in a Sabre, I feel like I'm in complete control of my ship. I appreciate the changes in vector. Um, I don't necessarily get that from this ship. So top speed is identical, um, but the way it actually flies when banking is a little bit different. So overall, I would say acceleration and kind of overall control, the base Sabre wins. As far as weaponry goes, it kind of depends on what you want out of a ship. You know, like if you want EMPs, I think the ship is really going to be the one that you want. But that being said, it's really just mounted to a standard missile mount. So I think as far as those pylons are concerned, you may end up being able to turn a Sabre or a Sabre Comet into a Sabre Raven with better weaponry utilizing the undermounted missile location. So we're going to have to see how that all plays out. Um, but for me, I think the ship is cool. It's a really nice design. I do kind of like the kind of gimmicky, I guess, holes in the wings, um, just from an aesthetic view. But overall, I think as far as the ship is concerned, I don't think people that are worried about this thing being super overpowered have a lot to worry about because I think there's a lot of customization that's going to be coming that's going to prevent some of those things from becoming an issue. So if you have issues, let me know. Otherwise, uh, we will talk soon. Take care.